Uh, excellent question. Um, I am a co-founder of the Internet, uh, the Dynamic Coalition on Internet Rights and Principles from the Hyderabad IGF uh, 10 years ago, which now has developed a digital charter of uh, internet rights and principles that has been translated into dozens of languages. So I think that's a great starting point. There's many, many other documents, but I would say the first thing to do is look at where uh, Inter rights, internet and human rights activists have, what have they have suggested over time as a new framework. Second, it's we are, I am a, an advisor to a new blockchain startup called humanity.co, which is proposing a 31st human right, which would be to your own day personal data. So as of currently, right now, you, your medical records, your online traffic, everything you do is bought and sold and traded and you get nothing, except maybe you get some targeted ads. Why is somebody else profiting from your data? So uh, working with Richie Etwaru, Michael De Palma, others who also recognize, and it's not just them, it's the entire pharmaceutical industry recognizing that their whole business model of buying and selling our medical records, a couple hundred billion dollar industry, is no longer viable with the GDPR as it is in place. So we need a new framework and this is a startup, but with serious backing from IBM, the pharmaceutical industry, other players in this whole era when people, more and more and more people recognize our daily privacy rights are being violated and legally in a way that is not, well, just what would not even be compliant with current law. So that is just the first of a new extension. So absolutely, there's no reason why we should only have 30 human rights as if the world stopped in 1948 when the Universal Declaration of Human Rights was uh, adopted by the United Nations. The 31st human right to our own personal data. I see you nodding. Is that obvious or what? Why? Who else should own your, our data about our own human body or, or illness? And should we have a right to possibly be compensated for it? So that is just a start. Once we start that principle, then there's many more that we might talk about. Again, going back to this charter on human rights from the Dynamic Coalition on Internet Rights and Principles, which I've encourage you all and any viewers uh, to review as a great starting point to think about what new human rights we might uh, or should have in this era of the global internet.